Hey everyone, Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. So today we're going to use the football wire frame from the Dollar Tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt <laughs> to make an acorn. So, we're going to use two different sizes of our jute twine. Um, first of all, we're going to use the small. Let's see. It's, it probably doesn't see the size. It is no six ply. Mm -mm. It doesn't say the size, but it's from Hobby Lobby. So, hot glue does not really work too good on a metal frame. That being said, um, y'all think I'm crazy for putting our glue on it? Yes. On the other hand, jute will adhere to itself. Now, what I'm going to do I did make one of these earlier today. And I'm doing this one a little different. I will show you the other one that I made. And I did it similar to this, but I'm doing this one just a little different in that I'm starting on the bottom of this acorn instead of the top. Um, in just a minute, well, the main reason is because on the other one I used the little jute on the whole thing. That's very time consuming. It's cute, but because I was using the same um, size of jute, it really didn't matter which way I, I did it first. So, I started with the top part on the other one. Whereas this one bends, I'm going to use the, the large on top. I think it's going to work better this way. You know, we always live and learn. So this is what I've done. No rhyme or reason. It's just crisscrossing them. Let me put 
one right there. Just crisscrossing the twine. That's all we're doing. Different directions. Now, I did not use this larger um, twine on the last one, but I wanted to try it on this one. And I'm wondering if that may be bulky. I'm figuring this out, y'all. So I was thinking if we stopped and started it, but that's going to, it would risk it at. unraveling more and I don't want it to unravel so we're just not going to stop and start it over and over and over we're just going to continue so I'll show you what I mean by that so your hot glue and twine the hot glue will bond that twine together and it'll stay pretty good. And y'all, I look a hot mess. Um, we worked out on our entrance way today. My husband built this, when he built the house, he built brick column walls <laughs> at our entrance and so over time between the pollen and the trees and the sap and just everything they had gotten ugly dirty ugly um so we cleaned them today and so we had the high pressure washer going So we did that. So I come in and took a shower, but I did not um, refix my hair or anything. I just pulled it up and left it. So I didn't roll it or anything. And of course, I was putting out ant poison on some of my trees. So it's just a day of being in the yard some, and I brought in some of my fall decorations. So, just kind of got me in the fall mood. Now I just need a little bit of um, cooler weather, and that would be great. I got up this morning and our we have a little dollar tree that's about 12 minutes from here i guess wish it was hobby lobby 12 minutes that would be awesome but i'm an hour and 15 minutes from any hobby lobby either way north or south but I got up and I um, ran down the Dollar Tree and I was going to get the brown um, deco mesh tubing. And I was going to do it like I had seen the picture, but I couldn't get it to work right. So I was back home by 9.30 this morning because I got up and went early. 
with all intentions of getting a bunch of videos made. this, trim it a little bit, bring that up in there, and the reason why I'm going ahead and doing it here is because, um, if I wait till this is full, then I can't reach under like that. So that's kind of why I'm doing it now. So I can mash it into the twine. Did cut these long so that I'd be sure I got them. You can always cut them off, but you can't always make them longer. Okay, so this is the back, and I've got them all pulled up and glued to the inside of this back right there so now and by doing it with this larger twine it really is a lot faster I wrapped on that other one it seemed like forever and I didn't go down quite as far on it either so that out so I'm pulling and I could zoom me a little bit get my fingers untwisted so just mash that twine together real good and so see, I just pull that in between two layers. I've got this um, twine, I've twisted it. So it's um, getting tight. I think it would look good as a football with the, the twine. I don't think I have enough. Just 
to a whole foot ball with it, not left out of the big stuff. I knew I had cut it too long, but I didn't want it too short. And so we've gotten Acre done, and we just need to embellish it with some leaves. My hair is being contrary and coming loose. I get it falling in my face. So I have my uh, temp on low on this now granted it does get hot but it's not near as hot as it would be if it was on high so it's on low so all right so to me it's already looking like an acre and you could leave it like this and it would be perfectly, it be awesome. Um, if you're doing like primitive um, decorating, it would be beautiful just like this. Save our stem. We may need it on another project. Wonder. These little picks came from Walmart. They are the cutest. I have not always been impressed with Walmart's florals, but every once in a while they do get some cute stuff. So... Holding that in on a second. I think I like this. That's cute. I like that pop of wine color. It's it's not like a it's not like a bright red. have y'all moved up close that's why I'm gonna have to tilt it up so y'all can see the whole thing so 
put a little bit of green and maybe a little yellow. Oh, it's pretty. Hurry up, fall time. So we got some orange. Some yellow and some green. Cut this a little bit. Um. Hot glue sticks to my finger for sure. I think this turned out so cute. It's just different. I felt so bad because I didn't get these done last year. But now we have some more ideas that we're going to do with these. We're going to do footballs. We're going to do presents. We're going to do some. Maybe a gnome. I mean, there's just. It's endless what you can do with these. Isn't that cute? So you could sit it. If you had a big dough bowl. You could put it in there. Um, you can hang it. Isn't that cute? I have to say, this is probably one of my favorites that I've done in a, in a little while. Now, this is the one that I did a test run. And it's done with the small twine. This is the large. And you can see, I came down further on this one than I did this one. And I may add maybe another row. No, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't have to have it, but let's get these off of the table. And let me pull this. And we will. that we're done with that I forgot to glue that there I tried to make sure I glued on top of twine so that it would hold, but on that one I think I forgot. Because it, it pretty much stays on top of twine. So I'm going to go right here where these went up in there and I'm going to start it. Like I said, this one took a lot longer because I was using the smaller twine. Let's 
so I think I like both of them but I will probably do more of those they're faster they look just, just as cute if not cuter So on that one, I went past the halfway bar that's right there. See, they got a, a bar right here in the middle going across. So this halfway bar, I went below it on that one. So I'll probably just add a few more layers. And with the small twine, you do the same thing. You're pushing it together really snug so that, you know, you don't have holes in between all of them. And this one, your hands get really gooped up with glue. And it's, it's a little more tedious to get that glue right there on the edge. We'll just get one or two more rows on there. This one looking pretty also. If you like the smaller twine or if you've already got the smaller twine. I would say use it. I'll probably stop on this row. This is going to drop it down. Right there at the halfway mark. A little bit, it's just below it. So, so cute and so easy. And I like the idea of hanging it. I like the idea of putting it in a dough bowl. So, either way. What would y'all do? Would y'all hang it or put it in a, like a dough bowl? on your dining room table or on your kitchen table or hang it in your kitchen and I just put glue like in the strands And so I ended it right there.
so there's that one. I think it looks better coming on down past that halfway mark. Hot glue strings everywhere. So this is our acorns. And y'all see this has got that, that blue, that navy blue. And you could put a bow if you wanted to. I don't think a bow really would go on these, but if you'd like a bow, you could put a bow on there. So that's going to be all for this section of the video. And um, for our football, these were at the Dollar Tree, so they're dollar twenty-five now. Um, so we'll be doing some more projects using these. So stay tuned and see what else we can create with them. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you um, like it and subscribe and share and share the video to um, another social media that you watch. Uh, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, LinkedIn, wherever you're at. I don't know if you can share on TikTok. You can tell them to come see me. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all being here. And so until next time, remember that I love you all. And y'all get to crafting and make something beautiful. And this is another um, football wireframe from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's got football wreath form or wreath frame, whichever one. But anyway, I went ahead and started this one because it's a bit lengthy. But using the deco mesh um, tubing from the Dollar Tree, um, I've got this one almost done. But the way I started, I started in the middle. You're going to need at least two bags of this. And I started just like this. Now, once again, hot glue does not stick to this, this wire frame very good. So, when I started out, I do put some on the wire frame, and this mesh tubing doesn't like, like hot glue either. Uh, I'm getting tongue-tied. So, but I just, I put that on there, and I just held it for a moment. And then, I went to the middle ring. And I would put some hot glue, just a little dab, just enough to just kind of hold it. Just kind of hold it in place because it's not going to hold it permanently. And then I would put some over on this other section. It's repetitive. You just do it over and over and over. And so then it on the side again in the middle and on the side all the way to the well I went to the top then I turned it upside down and I started again just like I did here going all the way up so that being said now that's got hot glue on it we will chunk that so I'm on the other end of this and because it's just repetitive and you do it over the same thing, literally over and over and over, I went ahead and I, I did the bottom half or top half and then I flipped it I'm doing the top half again. Um, being that it had two, two tops, I guess. So anyway, I'm up here at the very top <laughs> or at the very bottom, but because it was just over and over and over and over and over, this literally the same step, I did not see where um, I would have to just sit here and bore y'all to death of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I waited till I got almost done with this. 
and just show y'all how I'm doing it. Now, I don't like this. So, I'm going to do a, a football in a different way. But, I wanted to show y'all this option anyway, because there's so many ways to do these. You might could find a glue that would hold this better and not. The part I don't like about it, it turns it white in between here. Um, and to get that to stay, you have to hold it a few seconds, and that's what takes so long because you're just holding it. I'll say when you try to get that white off, it comes loose. See how it comes up on there? So this method it's all right, but it would not be my choice. Not my choice. And some of these um, bags of deco mesh where they crease them like there there's a bad spot where it's just creased it so bad i'd cut that part out of this method maybe y'all have some ideas how to deal with that I don't know but I did take a piece of felt and if I could cut in a straight line it would be better So, I'm going to put some hot glue on it. And I know felt and hot glue works pretty good together. It's just that deco mesh tubing that does it. It's just like mesh. It's, it's not very cooperative. So, if you're putting um, florals and stuff in your mesh wreaths, Hot glue is going to be better when it's touching something besides just the mesh. This is going to cover up a lot. <laughs> if it wasn't for this, probably wouldn't like this at all but the felt does cover up a, a multitude of, of ickiness and I had off-white it's a cream color just laying around so that one's not spaced just right but that's okay so that's just what I grabbed. I just, I didn't take the time to go dig out the white. 
I like the cream better anyway. All right, so I, and I just cut this kind of like in a somewhat of a curve, a little bit of a curve. We're going to make a prettier football. Guarantee it. But I wanted to show y'all this way. If you you'd know beforehand before you tried it. And it might work better. I thought about this also putting a piece of um, felt right here on the inner side of it and then maybe I don't think the mesh the tubing's gonna glue too good to it anyway, but it is what it is. Now let's just make a little Some people call them sloppy bows. They're really a refabbed bow. Um, broke with a refab. I think you invented this bow. And I think that's a little bit long. So maybe too long also, but we'll see. as crooked as anything. I'm going to use that little scrap. So let's gather that in the middle.
my hand. There it is. They said just chew some tubing. I know I had that somewhere. Brooke says she can't make bows. So she she would just do them like this. I think they're cute. Maybe it's gonna be upside down, be alright. stick it. You could put this on a wreath. You could hang it in a, you know, a child's room. You could put it in a dough bowl. Just having a um, a party tailgate party you know why not I'm just not a fan of how the, the hot glue and the mesh does the tubing but it's an option hey y'all I'm back again with another football frame another idea I like this one so this is repetitious also so I did do a lot of it um, I'm wrapping the whole thing in twine okay so all I did you know I told you that twine adheres to twine very good so I started at the top and I pulled out about four times and I went around the edge going out and you just start at the top put it through up here and once you get it going then you're gonna put your hot glue right there let me get y'all down where you can see. So you would put a hot glue. Now, if you, I've got a low temp gun, so, um, or it's got a low temp on it. So after a couple of seconds, I'm able to touch the hot glue and it's, a, it's warm, <laughs> but it won't burn me real bad. So, um, they do have hot glue um, little finger protectors I think even at the Dollar Tree so Amazon probably has them so if you don't have a low temp gun that is you know low enough that it won't burn you then don't do what I do <laughs> um, but anyway and I just wrap 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 so I left a little bit I ran out on this one so, in an instance where you run out, I'm just going to cut the kind of at an angle. So, when you run out, let me see. It's not going to need all that, but we're going to do two times anyway. Two times the length of, of what it is, what I need. So, I'm going to take it. And how it's flared a little bit. I'll put hot glue all up in there and then on this back side so I can adhere it to the twine that I just ran out with. So see my hot glue it's 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 warm but it's not burning me so make sure you have a low temp gun or 
get you some finger protectors for sure and so you just wrap 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 and because it was pretty easy to explain and it's just repetitious on all of um, all of these little bars and there's so many that's why I just decided to go ahead and do um, most of it See when I turn it up. All right, so. down really good it was a little warm okay I'm gonna bring you up this way Then I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. I'm sitting on a little bitty stool <laughs> and I was sitting on my foot on this little bitty stool and so my whole right side of my hip was going to sleep. Uh, I just did that one backwards. Here's the way we were supposed to do it. Okay. Hmm. Had this one upside down. But we got it right now. So... This is going to be our um, little hanger here. Okay. 
all this juice got got you all over me. Okay, um y'all where y'all can see what's going on. stuff it's even got leaves in it We're going to take this around just like this. Just because I don't want to see any other kind of oh, materials back there holding my whatever it's called styrofoam. Tell what's holding it. You get all that white covered up. makes your hands feel so dirty so I didn't want to wipe my table and then my hands feel yucky
Now let's get down to the fun part. Let's see what we got here. We can use the, the light. Y'all, I'm really thinking I may try like a little, kind of like a basket. With this, I think that'd be a great idea. Wood legs, I could. Um, Y'all look how messy I am. It's cascading down. We can get to go in here. Bet y'all can't tell I like pine cones <laughs> in my fall decor. I 
don't want, really want it like all over. I'm kind of just I want to bring it from here, kind of like that. back behind the little white to give it some color back there. Yeah, 
think we need a little bit of foliage in here. I didn't want no more orange. Kind of to break up the orange. I think it's looking cute. Just to be like, you know, a football from the Dollar Tree. How cute. Y'all just quiet because I was just trying to think of where, what I want to wear. Oh, that is. It's me just trying to figure out, okay, what do I need next? take my trash out. I think it's about to run over. peeking through. I just don't I want it broke up a little bit. Okay. That is our Dollar Tree football wrapped in twine. I think it's lovely. These came from Walmart. These came, the little bitty ones came from Hobby Lobby. This, I believe, came from Walmart, and the picks came from Walmart. So, Dollar Tree, the juke came, I got it from Hobby Lobby, but they got it at Dollar Tree. They've got little picks and flowers at Dollar Tree, so this could actually be a whole Dollar Tree um, arrangement if you wanted it to be. So, Okay, recap. Our acorns. Our football. And now, what looks to me like a, it looks like a tobacco basket almost. A little basket, hanging basket. Isn't that cute? I will be back with another video. So this is what we made. I hope y'all try this.
I love this one. I love the acorn. These are so cute. I'm just loving them. Hello, okay. I'm back again. So, another football. And let's come in a little bit. Now it just wants to make a little bitty. box in the middle so I went ahead and did most of the wrapping just to save time I saved one wire um, just to show y'all <clears throat> in case you didn't get it on the on the other one so your twine, we're just going to take it and I'll wrap it right here and I'm just merging it, if that's what you want to call it, with this other twine. So we're just going to continue to wrap, and the way I was kind of measuring my um, jute to, to cut it was about two and a half times the length of where I was going to cover. So I would just pull it about twice as wide as this, and then a half a time more. <clears throat> And that's been a pretty good um, gauge of about how much twine I needed for the area. going to do these are um, little wooden knobs and to see where I wanted to put them. can do here.
and we're going to take this one real quick and put it right here. Okay, well that's doing there. I would love to have had some lambs there. I just used all that I had. So I'm just going to do a little greenery just to kind of give you an idea of what this is going to look like. I don't know I'm crazy about this blue. Look how cute. Who would have thought? Put a little bit more blue right there. And because they're round, you don't if they don't have to be like straight down. Just gonna put a little dab of um, greenery in here. It's lit, you can't really tell it because of the bright lights in here. So it's just a little bowl. You don't have to use these. You could even put this on one end and put a larger. Let's see. Maybe just put one. I just think it is so cute. Put that down there just to kind of make it more level. And that, I like that. And voila. How much fun is that? So, and you wouldn't even have to put the candle. You could just do the um, pumpkins if you wanted to. Put them in there like this. A little bit more copper color in there. How cute. How simple. This the wire a football came from Dollar Tree. You can get these little um, knobs from Hobby Lobby from Walmart. I don't think I don't recall seeing them at Dollar Tree. But um 
These leaves and these pumpkins came from Hobby Lobby. Your jute you can get from Dollar Tree, so um, I love it. I love it. So that's number four. I'll see you uh, a little later for another one. So thank y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.